What's up enthusiasts, today we're doing part one of my collection video, The Painted Blasters. I thought it'd be fun to go through these in the order that I've painted them so you can kind of see the progression from terrible to less terrible. So to start off, I've got the first blaster I painted, my first Fire Strike. It's a stock blaster with a basic hand-painted light blue and pink theme to it. As you can see, my first paint job was nothing special. You could even say lackluster. So don't think your first paint job has to be anything special if you want to start painting your own blasters. Up next, I thought I needed a matching primary to go with my Fire Strike, so I took my Strife and gave it a paint job with the same colors. Now the paints I used on the Strife and Fire Strike are the cheap $1 to $2 acrylics you can buy at places like Joann's Fabric Stores. And just like the matching Fire Strike, there's nothing particularly great about this paint job. It doesn't look too good up close, but on the field during games, it looks fine. Unlike the Fire Strike though, the internals are not stock, there's a Blaster Tech Falcon 130 kit inside the Strife. Following the stripe, I was really enjoying using mag strikes, so I wanted to paint one up, and I started this purple and green mag strike. I didn't finish it though, mostly because I made the mistake of not priming the blaster before painting it, and it just looks terrible. The yellow of the mag strike came through in a lot of places despite numerous coats of paint, and the paint came off as you can see as well. So take this as a visual explanation of why you should prime before you paint. At the same time I was painting the Mag Strike, I decided I want another matching Fire Strike for it. So I went ahead and painted up a purple and green Fire Strike. This one I received from a lot of blasters I purchased and the person removed the AR from it but left the stock spring in. Now you can see the paints I used for the Fire Strike and Mag Strike don't have the best coverage. This is with multiple layers as well, so that's something you want to test before you start painting a blaster, making sure the paints you've chosen will cover well and evenly without requiring an excessive number of layers. Now we're getting to the point where I started putting more time and effort into my paint jobs, and this blaster is my favorite blaster, the Secret Shot. For the reds on this blaster, you'll notice there are different shades. I did multiple layers in different shades, going from darker to lighter, to give the surfaces more dimension, which is something I like doing a lot. It can be time consuming, but I feel that the end result is worth it. I believe all the paints used for this blaster and the matching primary up next were Citadel paints. Because I loved the red and black look of the secret shot so much after painting it, I decided to do my first rapid strike in a similar paint scheme. This one I had some help with though. BFU over at Bay Area Nerf did the base spray coats for this one, then I went in over it all with several layers of hand painting to get the colors just how I wanted. After that I went in and did all the line work you see on the blaster by putting painter's tape on the blaster, then cutting the lines out of the tape with an X-Acto knife, and painting in those cutout spaces to prevent slips in my hand or paint bleeding from using too much paint. I then did the detail work on the Nerf logo and other metallic bits using a darker base metallic with a lighter metallic over it. The extra effort of layering in such a way to give a little more dimension is really worth it and something I want to emphasize. And one last thing to note on this is I did a heavy wash with a Citadel shade paint on the gray parts of this blaster, both to give depth to the ridges and add some texture to the smooth surfaces like you see on the Spectre barrel. Next up we've got a blaster that's currently unfinished and that's this Tech Target blaster that I painted for a video a while back. For this blaster I just did some basic hand painting and touching up, but in the future it will be getting detail work and highlighting to clean it up and make it look nice. There are also some spots in this blaster that will benefit greatly from getting a wash and then highlighting over to really accentuate the shape of the shell. Now we come to my first attempt at using spray paints to paint a blaster. This Rapid Strike is running the Blaster Tech Falcon 130 kit inside of it so it performs like a monster on the field. And when it comes to the paint job I used Rust-Oleum 2X spray cans for the pink and the blue, then a Games Workshop white primer with Citadel white hand painted over it to get the smooth look desired. I wish I'd watched more of Foam Data Services painting videos before doing this though because he has great tips for taping your blaster before spray painting to prevent paint bleeding which I have a lot of on this blaster. Outside of that though, I'm really happy with the colors and overall look of this blaster. Now I just need to paint a matching secondary for it. Last on this list is my Apollo. Now after using the Rust-Oleum 2X spray paint, I really liked the result, so I went with a purple from the same line for this blaster. After the initial couple layers of spray paint, I went in with Citadel paint and did the detail work in white, gold, and silver. For the gold, I went in with a bronze and did a base layer first, then did a wash with Citadel shade paint, and after that, highlighted the raised areas with a lighter gold paint. To finish it, I went with a gloss clear coat, as is my preference when painting, because I really like the shiny look on my blasters. 
Well, that's going to do it for this video. This has just been part one of my collection. The other parts will probably break down into a gear video, a primaries video, and an everything else video. Do you like the idea of breaking the collection video down into multiple videos so I can spend more time talking about things? Or would you prefer just one video to have everything, even if as much time isn't spent talking about certain items? Let me know in the comments. I am very interested to hear your thoughts on this one before I go forward with the rest of these videos. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have fun flinging foam, and I'll see you next time.